hello guys welcome to my channel and watch my tutorials this is a session to show you how to make a simple administrative map we will be based on the output data generated from the previous session but you can make some export and some clip to support the task let's go in the previous video we have been generated Bugesera district boundary roads in Bugesera district lakes in Bugesera district health centers and so on now we are going to base on those data exported or clipped in Bugesera district to make a simple administrative map to do so let us go to start menu and uh, search in the ArcGIS package a NARC map then open ArcMap. map so the ARC map is opened I need to close this window and then I will need to add data generated from the previous video first of all I need to save in the created folder so that we can make a project safe to do so let me go to file uh, scroll down to save us and then uh, in this space this is a workspace where we have saved the project to in ArcMap so uh, we will need to go up one level and create another folder and we call it a simple administrative map I will need to click on this icon create new folder and then write administrative map so I'm going to put my uh, ArcMap document in, into this folder I will open it and then I will name it to Jessera Admin Map and then I click on save. You will see that the name of my ArcMap document is appear here on top. So the next step is to add data. Which data I will need? Remember, we have been generated data in Wujesera district. So Wujesera district is the target location that we are going to be based. So I will need to add data from that have been generated in the previous video. I will go to file, scroll down to add data and then click on add data. As you see they will direct me to where my data saved. But those are the data uh, that have been used in the previous video but not the output that have been generated. I will need to browse to where I can fetch my data that have been saved. I will need to connect, click on here on connect, then go to PC and then uh, you will need to import F disk and then click OK. You will see that the F disk has been connected to our ArcMap project. I will need to go in the document, GIS exercise in tutorial folder. Then I will choose ArcMap folder. Then this is the project to your database that have been created and it is a working space where the data have been produced to. I will click on in this project your database then in the boundary feature data set so I can choose one this is Vigesera district and this is uh, Vigesera sectors add here in type of content I will need to make Vigesera district a boundary hello and okay in order to make the sectors appear in the map so the next step is to add roads that have been generated to do so I will go back to file uh, add data and click on add data uh, but roads have not saved in this feature data set of boundary because road is not boundary I will need to go up one level and click on infrastructure to bring up roads this one and even I will need health centers and this then click on add you see that roads in Gesera district have been added and even health centers have been added the next step is to add legs i will go to file then scroll down to add data then click on add data uh, legs are not uh, saved in infrastructure feature data set you need to go up one level and choose natural data feature data set then bring legs add to see that leg appear in our map interface it's better to change the color of leg of course the color of legs should not be like this I will go to a table of content click on the icon of leg and then choose leg then click OK 
you see that the legs have been changed and even I can change the color of sectors actually I'm going to use symbolization I will need to go to the property of sectors scroll down to properties and then you go to symbology and you will choose categories in this category let us be unique values and go to draw category using unique values on field so in very field let us choose names sector names and uh, in the color ramp let us choose a simple color that it will make the map view clearly let me uncheck all values but bring up add all values you see that all values all sectors have been bring the app in this box so then click on apply then click on ok you see that all sectors are appear in this map interface and even going back to table of content you see that the layer of sectors of Jesera district have been appear each sector is appear on the map uh, but here you see that roads making some time the map not look good i will need to uncheck road creep in Jesera district then it's better to bring the road of the whole country so that i can fetch type 2 road to do so i will need to go to file and click on add add data and then i will need to go to where i can fetch data so this is the working space where i am saving data but i need to connect where i can fetch data this is the recap advanced dgis where in the data 2020 geo database i will click on them and then go in infrastructure then bring roads here you see the road of the whole country have been added and uh, i will need to select the category two roads or category one it depends on the category that will be appear in the district but all i need is to select only one category to make the map clear to select category two or category one road i will go to selection then select the attribute because uh, category is attribute data is collector data of road if i go to road type one it is a category it is one of the characteristic of road i will select the two uh select attribute and then the layer is not help centers but will be roads and then i will leave this method as default and then choose in this box type two root you see that it is written here and then echo click on get unique values and choose type one upon the clicking double click on type one and the click on apply and you see that there is no type one in this VSR district so that's why i will delete one and then uh, click on two you see that the expression is type root equal to then click on apply you see that type two in Bujasera district is available then click ok we're going to use type 2 actually those are the principal roads in Bujasera district as you see all type 2 roads in the whole country have been selected so i only need the road type 2 in Bujasera district how to do that so i will go to arc toolbox and uh, i will need to go to analysis tool double click on extract then open clip input feature will be roads however i will put road of the whole country but remember that only type 2 have been selected so i will choose roads and then the creep features will be the boundary of this red district this is this red district and then output feature class will be saved in the infrastructure already but it is we just set up of the road we set up underscore path underscore roads and then click on the save then yes you see that output have been generated i will need to go back to table of content and then i will check you see that a uh, big setup of the road have been generated and then let me uncheck the road of the whole country and you see that i have only roads for Bujasera district i will need to change color of road and then uh, let me choose this and uh, i will click ok you see the color of load have been changed the next point is to change the color of 
health centers. In table of content, you will choose health centers on click on this icon, then scroll down to uh, let me choose this this icon, and uh, I will need to resize it and uh, let me put it a uh, red, then click OK. You see that all health centers will be look like this. But remember that in Gisela district there is a district hospital. But we didn't make a district hospital in Ogesera district. So I need to go back to file and uh, go to add, then click on add data. I'm going to add all hospitals from our geo database and the uh, hospitals are saved in health facilities hospitals then click on add actually you see that hospital layer have been added let me make it bigger and bigger so that you can see this is hospital this is hospital and uh, upon clicking on zoom to layer you see that uh, the hospital of the whole country have been added so let me again zoom to layer Yesera district so i'm going to generate only the hospital in the Yesera district of course i will need creep let me go to creep and open creep input feature will be hospitals and the creep features will be with the Sera district boundary of course and then the output will be saved in infrastructure because hospital is infrastructure of course then uh, let me call it with the Sera and scroll hospital hospital then click on save then okay so you see that the hospital output have been generated and uh, go back to table of content to uncheck or to remove all hospitals in Rwanda and I will only need to make uh, which is red district hospital appear in the map you see that it is appear already in the map and I will need to change the uh, color icon and uh, even I will scroll down to this icon is much better for me and resize it of course then click ok you see that hospital look like this it is in Yamata area and those are the health centers that the people use in during the health services those are the legs so actually now i'm going to rename these sectors to do so let me go with the Sera sectors data layer and like click on them then go to property go to layer and uh, in layer i will check this box labor features in this layer and uh, even in the text string labor field will be name of course sector name and uh, let me change this text symbol and uh, the size let me choose it 11 and click on apply then okay you see that all sectors has names like Tarama, Yamata, Museni, Mayange and so on those are the sectors in the Sela district and you see that the names have been appear let me add rivers in this part there is Akanyaro river and this that is Nyavarongo and the Akajira rivers I'm going to add the river shape file so that I can make a simple admin map with rivers so I will go back to file then scroll down to add add data and then click on up one level and then go to natural resources and then click on levers then click ok add uh, you see lever data have been added on our map upon unchecking Bujesera district boundary and even upon unchecking sectors you see that Akanyaru, Akajera are closing the boundary of Bujesera district so I'm going to export those river first of all I'm going to select this river on the boundary of Bujesera district let me uncheck again this district data layer and then um, click on this feature because i'm going to select what i see and uh, let me click on yeah click on this ah, it is uh, some time a big task ah, so this is kajira river i will export it so from river in table of content i will do like the click scroll down to data and they click on export data then a uh, river is not infrastructure and we need to go up one level and they uh, go to natural data and uh, call it akajira river Akajira underscore river 
then click on save and okay in the akajira river i've been created so let me clear selection go to selection and then scroll down to clear selection let me uncheck rivers of the whole country and you see that akajira river have been exported but not only akajira that i want i want to export again akanyaru river i will bring up rivers in the whole country and uh, go back to select features and uh, click on akanyaru rivers then go back in the table of content like the click on river then scroll down to data then click on export data browse to where you can save the output already it is in natural data feature data set then re rename it akanyaru river Aka Nyaru underscore river then click on save then ok and yes actually a canary river have been exported and uh, i will need to clear selection go back to selection and then uh, click on the clear selected features so i will need again to uncheck or remove the rivers of the whole country and you see that i have only mm, rivers in the Wajasera district let me mm, akajira river give it the color of river of course and even i can resize of course and then uh, akanyaru i will give the color of river and uh, the size it again you see that rivers have been added in Ujesera district those are the river separating Ujesera and the other district and let me bring up the boundary of Ujesera district but i will pan it above lake and uh, let me bring sector of Ujesera data layer and you see that our map is clear and uh, even you can make it better and better so to beautify a map in layout view and export it we, we will have this session after we will see how to beautify a, the layer how to add all cosmetic element of a good map on the map and how to export it thank you so see much you for watching this tutorial if you find important and helpful to you please subscribe like and share see you guys in the next video Shh.